My name is Anna Marie Tendler and I'm a New York based makeup artist and today I'm going to show Holly how to tweeze her eyebrows herself. The thickness or the thinness of a person's eyebrows is totally personal preference, but I personally think that a thicker, fuller eyebrow looks better, looks more natural. Um, they're also way easier to maintain. A good thing to invest in is a white eye pencil. Make a slight line. And that way, you have a guide to follow. You won't over-tweeze your eyebrows, which can happen very easily. <laughs> Don't let yourself tweeze anything that is not covered by the white. Well, you sort of want to see where the natural arch is, which on most people is the outer corner of the iris. You should be really careful about tweezing above the eyebrows because that can create a really tweezed look. I usually leave above the eyebrows natural. So now that you have your guide, you can start tweezing. This is just a regular tweezer man tweezers with red grips. It makes it easier for holding. And um, you want to get a tweezer that is on a diagonal end, not a blunt tip. Um, it just makes it much easier to grab the hair. As you start to tweeze this hair, you start to see the natural point from the top and from underneath. And then you just tweeze the little stray hairs around there. You want to be really careful about tweezing in between your eyebrows and also, close your eyes for me really quick, and also under here. There are different ways of measuring where is the correct point to start tweezing from. Instead of going straight up, you sort of move just a millimeter on a diagonal, which is naturally where most people's eyebrows start growing from. So if you just don't touch it, you're probably safe. And it's a good idea to do the arch first. You'll be able to see where it should come to a point. It'll be much easier and you won't take a lot of hair off. Your eyebrows should be as long as they naturally would be. Holly has really nice dark eyebrows, which are in a very easy line to follow. And you see you have a really nice arch with a nice point. You're not fighting against the way that your brows actually want to grow, so they're going to naturally go into that nice arch pointed shape.